Ariel Hawani in New York City gearing up for Bellator 180 alongside Chaim Gozali, who meets Ryan Couture this Saturday night at Madison Square Garden on the Bellator.com prelims. Chaim, Manishma, Kobaseda. So, yeah, good. Of course, good. Israel's own Chaim Gozali, a very proud Israeli fighter. You are fighting here at Madison Square Garden in a couple of days. You took a break from MMA not that long ago. You got back on the horse, so to speak, a few months back in Tel Aviv. Is this, is this kind of surreal after the career that you've had to be fighting at MSG, the world's most famous arena? It's crazy. It's crazy for me. It's a dream come true. I never thought I'm going to go, gonna fight in an you know, arena like that, but... You know, dream, dream can come true, you know. There's a big uh, Jewish community here in New York City. Are you expecting a lot of them to be at the arena on Saturday, to be backing you? The problem, my fight is uh, early. And this, and this right. Shabbat is going out like at uh, 9.30, you know, so it's going to be after the fight. But I, I sold like a couple of, a couple of hundred tickets, wow. you know, so it's good. You took, as I said, a, a break from the sport and then came back when Bellator made its debut in Tel Aviv. Why were you away for so long? It was like three, four years, right? Yeah, I had the accident, like an uh, accident in Israel. I was a security guard. Somebody stabbed me in my hand. I did like uh, five surgery in my hand after I recovered and everything, so I come back. Where, where was the, uh, the stab one? Oh, wow, there it is. Yeah. You can see that on uh, camera right there. H how many stitches? Oh, it's like it was 50. Wow. But I did like five uh, five surgery in the end till they fix it because all the nerves is like... Uh, okay. You know. And are you a righty? And, and no, I'm a lefty. You're a lefty. Well, that's good. Yeah. If I mean, if that was your left hand, do you think your career would have been over? No, I don't no. think so. No. Any ill effects? No, I don't feel the hand, but... You don't I feel the hand? No, I don't feel... No. It's completely numb? No. So what happens when you punch? Nothing. He's, he's going to feel the hand. He, he will feel the hand. <laughs> I'm not going to feel it. And, and why were you stabbed? I was a security guard, you know, Israel. Yeah. A dangerous place sometimes, sure. you know, so, so stuff happened, you know. Are you still a security guard? No. I After that, you I, stopped? No, I didn't stop. I have a security company now. Okay, so now so you're the boss. I, I'm the boss. Did you think that your career would be over as no, a result of the injury? Uh, never. The doctor told me it's going to over, but I, I never think it's going to over. So the plan was always to come back eventually? Yeah. But I fought jiu-jitsu a lot of time, you yeah. know, like a hundred of competition sure. all over the world. So uh, from what I understand, you were the first Israeli to go to Abu Dhabi for the ADCC, right? Yeah, I was, uh, 2005, I got the uh, invitation. I went from Sheikh Tag Noon? Yeah, I, I went to, I fought in Abu, Abu Dhabi, ADCC 2005, and then after that also in 2007, I fought. Yeah. I'm the first Israeli that do everything, every, you know. I bring the MMA to Israel, I bring the, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to Israel. I was the first one to do the, do the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in Israel. So, a so pioneer, if you will. The first one go, <laughs> Israeli going to fight in the garden, you know. Um, what, what is it like for an Israeli to compete in Abu Dhabi? Because we know that the relationship between Israel and Abu Dhabi is essentially non-existent. So what is that like for you? No, the, the competition was in uh, California. Okay. It's the first time that he, he went from Abu Dhabi to, to... Have you ever competed in Abu Dhabi? No, Abu okay. Dhabi, no. You can't? No. I don't know if I can. I never try, but uh, the Sheik is uh, gave me the, to be the representative in Israel. Okay. So we have like ADCC Israel every year. I'm the president of it, like four, five hundred uh, competi competitor every year. So you have ADCC Israel now. So there's no room for politics in sport, no, or maybe no. combat sports. Not for us, no. Right. Not, not in sport. For you to come back and fight in Tel Aviv and win in front of that great crowd, what was that like for you? Also crazy. Yeah. I, I thought that was going to be the last one. Oh, really? Yeah, but it was so so fast, you know, and I didn't feel that I, 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 fight or I fought or something, so... You wanted I, more? Yeah, I wanted more. Is it possible this is your last one? I don't know. Let's see. You're 44, right? Yeah, but I don't feel 44. You look 24. Yeah, I don't feel 44 for sure. Right. Yeah. Um, what was it like when you got the call saying that, okay, you're not just fighting at MSG, you're fighting against one of the most famous families in the sport, the son of Randy Couture, Ryan Couture. He's been around the game a long time. Yeah. Did you know about him? Yeah, I know, for sure. Yeah. I saw him, I saw his fights, you know, before I know I'm going to fight him, I saw him in the UFC, I saw him in Bellator, a lot of places I saw his fight. But I asked for him. You asked for him? Yeah. Why? They gave me a list of fighters to choose. Yeah, it was the famous one. Wow. You know, if I'm fighting in the garden, at least it's going to be the famous fighter or somebody everybody knows. And Israel is famous, so it's, for me it's a win-win. Will also, this air in Israel? So, huh? Will this air in Israel? Yeah, it's going to be live. Wow. It's going to start from my fight until the end. Is there a lot of buzz about this yeah, in Israel? Yeah, I did a lot of buzz. Really? I did it myself, yeah. In the beginning, the newspaper didn't... Do, 
didn't do nothing. After I started with the Facebook and stuff, now every, every newspaper in Israel, every TV in Israel, everybody interviewed me already. That's amazing. And I did it all with the Facebook, you know. How popular is the sport there now? Bellator in Israel was eight, eight and a half thousand people. Okay. This year, I'm believing going to be 12,000 people in Israel. In November when they come back? Yeah. Okay. I think like two years from now, it's going to be in the mainstream. Yeah, we have a channel, MMA channel in Israel, so everybody knows what is MMA. But we never thought we were going to bring eight and a half thousand people to arena, you know? Yeah. We thought it was going to be 4,000, 5,000. I sold by myself in Israel a thousand tickets. Wow. By myself, end to end. So this year is going to be 12,000, I believe. And from what I understand, you are an avid uh, lover of all things Batman, right? You have tattoos, right? Batman tattoos? And yes, I'd love to see. Oh, wow. We're going to see the back. Oh, there we go. Well, there we have uh, Wolverine. There's Batman right over there. Look at that. And there's another Batman over there. And you have a, and there's another one. They're all over the place. Um, you know, uh, Jews typically, do, oh, they're, uh, tattoos usually aren't, uh, like if I told my father I was getting a tattoo, he would not be very happy. How did you get away with this? No, this is the, the, the new Jews, you know, oh, okay. the 2000 Jew. Yeah. We can do tattoos. Now, Why do you love Batman so much? You know, all my life I was, I was in the army. Yeah. I was in the border patrol. All my shift was in the night. After that, I was a security a bouncer all my life, like 20 years, all the time and night, fighting crime, but not a police officer. So it's, and I was, you know, it was when I was 16 years old, I was in New York and I saw the first Batman, you know, in 89, yeah. the first show. Yeah. So it stuck with me, you know, and everybody called me Batman, so. The original Batman just passed away, you know that, Adam yeah, West. Of course, yeah. Yeah. I, put up, I put a post on my internet, on my Facebook. And you have a whole room dedicated. Yeah, I have a house with six rooms, just me and my wife and my son, six rooms. So I build a room like a cave. Wow. All like, you know, gray and uh, all black, you know, and I did like a secret door and go inside, you know, really? like you go into the uh, bathroom and that secret door and everything Batman. Do you have the actual costume? Yeah, I got that. The real one? Yeah, and I also you dress up? Nah. Come on, you walk around the streets. I'm going to go to the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. Are you going to come out to the Batman song? No. No, okay. No. I don't know if they're going to be song in our fight, so they told us maybe it's not going to be you okay, know, okay. entry song. So. Uh, I also bought a real uh, mask from the Dark Knight. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. It's a very exciting time for you. Not only are you fighting at MSG, I do believe you just received your fourth degree black belt from Henzo Gracie. That is a great honor. Congratulations, Mazel Tov, on that great honor. And Behat uh, Sacha, good luck to you on uh, Saturday night. Very excited to see you fight in person. Thank you. Thank you very much.